In this video, we are going to take this raw model and we're gonna add texture to it in Cops Paint X0.5. And we're gonna have something like that. And then we're gonna render that in this environment. So I think that will be interesting, honestly. hi everyone this is dyson welcome back and we have this model as you can see and we want to paint it with paint x0.5 as you can see i have this name attribute i'm segmenting this so for example this is the body and this is the pipe and metal etc and as you can see we have the segmentation and this is honestly so headache and time uh, consuming and uh, I'm deleting this unnecessary interior part because it will take a lot to unwrap that. And I will uh, have this name as explode view to show you guys. We have these pieces and we have an UV, but not U dim. You see, it's messy UV. And now let's go to cop and let's create sub import. I want to import. Uh, this null here cool and i want to create paint x and soon as i enable this we are in uv mode not ud mode and we have this amazing redesign uv ud rebuild and i want to enable ud because we don't have any ud by nature I want to rebuild UDIM based on the name attribute. And as you can see, now we have our UDIM. And this is the segment. And this is cool. You see, this is straightforward. And so easy to set up without any complexity, honestly. After that, we are recommending to export this rebuild UV UDIM to the, this route. You see in here export and create uv and as you can see this subnet it's handling all that so this is prevent uh, paint x to rebuild that over and over and make sure this is disabled by default rebuild udm otherwise it will rebuild it over and over so now we have our uv and udim and we're going to make this look i have this reference from internet and we're going to do something like that and this is our reference so let's rename that to body for example and let's select our udim in here and this is the body yes and we're gonna yeah we're gonna start with this base color and we have some variation in here let's create empty layer and this is cool i want to show you guys how you can uh, create empty layer for the handles or anything else in here and as you can see you can select your udims using this cool selector instead of doing that uh, manually and this is for the handle for example but having said that, let's go back to body and let's create, for example, curvature mask. And as you can see, we can go with green color and don't have anything in here because it's not working with this model. Uh, curvature is so tricky sometimes. It ne it's need more polygon to work with. And as you can see, I'm using ambient occlusion. This is cool for hard surface. So now, as you can see, I'm exploring some variation of color. And this is honestly up to you and the look you are looking for. So I'm, yeah, I'm creating something rusty like that. And I'm adding this noise by multiplying that with the ambient occlusion as you can see and i can crank up the intensity for example you see we have something like that and this is cool honestly this is multiplying the ambient inclusion and you can of course manipulate the size and roughness for example and of course with this mask and base layer you can manipulate these 
material specular you see that you can do it only on mask and of course you can increase this noise and you can see this specular it's apply only on mask and you can of course uh, manipulate this ambient occlusion and this metalliness you see just i want to show you how this mask related to the material and you can do that and now as you can see at the reference we have this bottom of this gray color and this dirt for example you can create attach new layer it will do an amazing stuff to connecting all this input output and we can go with a black color for foreground and, and i want to use directional mask in negative y-axis and as you can see we have something cool like that you see and that's amazing honestly and you can do something like that and you can have a noise to it you can you can multiply that or you can of course enable only edge and it will apply some noises only to the edge it will try to do that in best way possible but yeah that's only edge with this size parameter and this is cool honestly now you have that and maybe a little bit lighter yeah let's go here and let's make it lighter and of course you can multiply that with uh, the color and yeah we have that for the base one now on the reference we have this area and we're gonna create a new layer by assigning new layer button and we're gonna go with the group mask in here this is brand new mask and we're gonna do yeah of course we have the attribute but now we're gonna go with the group mask and we're gonna enable that first and we're gonna go with s button and here we can select the area we want of course if you have a group from sub level on this geometry you can select it without needing this but i'm selecting that for this example as you can see we have sub blur this is amazing blur instead of 2d blur and as you can see i i want to mimic this variation and let's go with something like that and probably if I do multiply, it's better, but yeah, I'm doing that for now. And yeah, this is something cool with group mask. And as you can see, we have something like that. And you can explore this blending mode, multiply, add screen, etc. And you can see the possibility and you can adjust this sub blur. So now, as you can see, if I dive in, we have this visualization and I don't like this color. You see, this is the base color at the first node. And for example, you can do the file mode and uh, load this metal node. And I want to show you something cool here. You can use triplanar and you can have a tile here and you can have any blending you want just this is the miracle of proceduralism and node based stuff and as you can see whatever change you want to go with it will update in the whole pipeline and as you can see if i enable the flag here and you see everything it's working and this is amazing in node based stuff and this is the big advantage you see and if I go to visualization, we have some variation as you can see, you see. And now, of course, you can have this color correction stuff. This is added in 0.5 and you can manipulate the texture in here. You see, that's cool. Now let's paint a logo, for example, let's create a new layer and let's go to the mask paint and activate paint. And we have this amazing hint and it said you can dive in and we have something like that. And let's hit enter and manipulate tools to activate this paint. And let's go to stamp and select our PNG, black and white PNG. And as you can see, we have this fading stuff 
and yeah maybe let's reduce it and we have something like that and i want to paint it in here and as you can see it's yeah it's need to be rotate and i'm rotating this maybe yeah, something like that nope yeah that's cool and as you can see we have our logo and we can go back and boom now we have our mask and we can do everything with it and we can assign a color to it and we can of course assign a many many uh, material attributed for example we can make it metallic and we can make it more specular and we can make it even subsurface scattering and if you want to see the visualization deactivate this active paint and you can go in solaris once more and as you can see if i enable the cpu yeah it will take a time and we have something like that that's amazing honestly it's uh, paint x it's sim uh, design in simplest way possible honestly to give you a boost in creativity and now let's finish other object for example this handle i'm using the same setup i'm uh, talk about before and as you can see this is straightforward i'm not wasting your time i'm using this color stuff and adding metalliness and uh, specular etc and yeah i can show you this visualization and this is with the white color and i'm doing this metal stuff and of course we have this new single visualization light and this is amazing to see uh, the details for example and subsurface scattering and normal map etc and as you can see, I create a, uh, every, sorry, a new node for every uh, remaining object, as you can see. And I did some black metal stuff and some uh, bright metal stuff. And yeah, I just, uh, I want to show you what we have in Paint X 0.5. And as you can see, I'm selecting this object and I adding metallics and as you can see this is what we have so far so if you pay attention we paint the diffuse map yeah most of it was a diffuse map now I want to add detail using this bump height map and normal map and I want to restart that and basically this is too much and I want to yeah and decrease that maybe this no maybe more and let's restart that and yeah we have something and maybe a little bit more and let's start that yeah it's so tricky with this model because it's not have a good topology topology sorry and maybe we can increase the normal map in here and we can have some detail like that and this is honestly cool with normal map and displacement map and let's go here and let's enable single light visualization and i want to show you just the detail and you can see cool detail using this uh single light visualization and based on that we have too much normal map and we can decrease that you see this shadow and visualization it's helping us a lot to add this detail more properly and we can add this specular as you can see and this roughness for example and we can have that just only for the mask we talked about that earlier and yeah we have this for the outdoor and you can see it in different condition so now let's say we have this scene in solaris and uh, every one of us we have a story to tell and we have the scene and we're gonna render that object we're painting in this scene for example and how we can do that to see our painting in this scene so now we can export the uh, all the object all the texture with the udim 
and import that in material x and load that but it this is not efficient we have amazing custom scene just uh, make sure you have the same hierarchy in these two uh, solaris node so you see we have the same null imported in that and now we can go to the custom scene and import our render karma or end of the stream you want and if you now dive in voila you can see your object with the texture in real time without needing to exporting that and now of course you can uh, you, you can manipulate every texture you want and see it in the action and this scene it's cool it's have fog box i added that and we have this environment and it's have hair for the grass and you can do whatever you want and see your object in here and this is cool just pay attention to the hierarchy we mentioned before and make sure it's have the same thing uh, and make sure you have importing the same null to the cup into the solaris in sub import in solaris so yeah and as you can see we have something like that and of course it will take a time to render that and now as you can see i'm creating this cop network and slab comp just i want to create some uh, post processing stuff color correction glue stuff and as you can see just i want to show you you can have that in your paint x2 so i'm doing that in solaris and as you can see we have our slab comp and let's enable denoising stuff and let's go to uh paint x in here and as you can see if i dive in now i have all that you see i have this slab comp enable disabled by this uh, icon and we have that and with that you can have all your changes and texture presentation and this is a huge honestly that's so cool you can you cannot do that with substance painter for example and finally if you want to export your texture it's so easy you can go to export tab and you have this file tab in here and let's create for example a folder for it and let's go with all udim i want to export all udim and let's hit export and it will take a time to export that as you can see we have all the udim all the passes and highlight normal map etc and and this is amazing and we have that all and now we can go to the solaris and let's create a you see let me decrease that to see the result faster and in order to load all this texture we have amazing automation stuff just you need a material library for your uh, model and you can assign this model to this and with this material library you can go in here and select it you can select this material library cool and you can create this material and as you can see it will create material x for you and it will load all the texture you exported and as you can see you see it will set up all this udim stuff for you and you can have your exact result in here and this is cool honestly it's it's make my life so much easier and yeah guys this is paint x 0.5 and if you're interested the link in the description and have fun with it